Hello and welcome back to part two of the Limo Anywhere setup. Today we will be covering the service types section. What are service types? Service types are services that you offer your clients, such as weddings, anniversaries, nights out on the town, or to and from the airport transfers. Each service type can be calculated differently from the next. So if your hourly rates for the wedding are a little higher than your night out on the town rates, no worries, we've got you covered. To get started, we will click the My Office button, select the Company Settings tab, then go down to the System Settings button in the bottom left. The first thing you will need to do is start unchecking all the services that you do not need. By doing this, the system will remove the service types from the drop down list on the reservations and online booking system. Once you remove the services you don't want to offer, you'll then go into each service type and set it up to be active on your online booking tool. Don't worry, we'll go through an example together. I'll select the From the Airport service. I'll make sure that the service type name is appropriate. If I don't like the words, from the airport, I could change it to airport arrival. Next, I'll select my service agreement. Then I'll choose how the service type needs to be priced. In this case, I'd want it to be fixed or distance. Select the default pricing matrices for both options. Make sure that the default mapping on this is set to airport arrival. And then the system wants to know if we need to activate this on our ORES, which is the online reservation system. Now the system wants to know how this service type needs to be displayed on our website. Some companies might put in airport arrival while others might use from airport. The address fields below work directly with your online reservation tools address fields. So for this service type of from the airport, I would only want airports and FBOs to be displayed when my customer starts typing into the pickup location field. For the stop and drop off location fields, I would choose the option of select all so Google integration can give them suggestions when they start typing in a location. Now that all the fields have been set up, you'll want to save your changes at the bottom of the screen. I'll give you one more example of this setup, but this time we'll choose an hourly one. Now I'll show you how to set up a new service type. Click the Add New button. Type in the service type name, such as Wedding. Then for the service type code, I'll use an acronym similar to WED. I'll select the Service Agreement. I'll set my pricing to Hourly. I'll give it a custom label for my website, such as Wedding. And then I'll select All for the pickup, drop off, and stop locations. Once I save the changes, I'll need to go back into it one more time to activate it for my online booking tool. Once you've finished setting up all of your service types, you can then go reorganize them by dragging and dropping them in the order of importance. So if I do more airport arrivals than I do anything else, it might be best to have this at the top of my list. This concludes the service type setup. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you found this informative. If you do need more assistance, don't hesitate to call our support staff at 888-888-0302, extension 2. They are available and willing to help 24-7.